Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Kellen here with Droid Life, and we're taking a second look today at the Pebble Smartwatch. So as you guys know, we reviewed this a couple of months ago and generally liked it, especially as a concept, but you know, it lacked some apps, some functionality, some of the stuff we thought we were gonna maybe see out of the uh, out, of, out of the box. But you know, today is a completely different day. The watch face SDK is out there. There's apps being made, there's games being made, there's watch faces being made. It's really become quite the cool um, ecosystem and community. So we wanted to share at least how to install third party apps and watch faces and games and things like that because you know this is how you can really start taking advantage of Pebble. Now keep in mind that there's you know official apps in Google Play that have, are starting to build in um, support for Pebble like RunKeeper today was updated. Uh, but these are just third party apps that are standalone. You can install right to your Pebble and start utilizing the device you know like we sort of saw during concept and uh, things like that. So a couple things you need obviously is a Pebble. You need to have it paired with your Android device. You can see I've got it paired up there. There's a little icon up there, which also means you need the Pebble app installed. Uh, once you've got that up, there's a couple websites to go to. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up Chrome. Now you do all this from your phone. Okay, you can, there's probably a way to do it from your computer. This is just the easiest way to do this. So two websites you should know. MyPebbleFaces.com has sort of become the official, unofficial spot to get all apps, watch faces, and all that. They've done a great job of combining them into one location. They've got a nice mobile layout on their website. The Pebble team's actually referring people to them to find and discover new apps and games and watch faces. So it's definitely a legit site. There's like 330 pages, or I'm sorry, 330 apps or something like that or watch faces and all that combined already on here. There's a ton of stuff. There might even be more than that. There's a lot to lot to sift through if you want to find some new watch faces and see some concepts. Uh, the, other, the other site then is the actual official Pebble site, which is forums.getpebble.com. Um, if you're in here and you go to uh, the Pebble watch app directory, You'll find a lot of these, but most of them end up linking to this my or this my Pebble Faces site. So I would recommend looking through here if you need some help with uh, just general forum stuff. But if you just want to get straight into downloading, I would go to mypebblefaces.com. So let's look at this site for a second. Again, it's mobile friendly. Uh, you can sort it by most downloaded, recently updated, lowest rated, top rated, newest, all that stuff. You can sort it by watch faces or apps or games. And you, there's really a ton to go through. So I highly recommend just going to this after you watch this video and uh, start playing around. So it's it's incredibly simple to install these, but I haven't I wasn't able to find a lot of good instructions out there. So I just wanted to put a video out that helps everyone just do this. So got your Pebble, you're paired, got the Pebble app, you're at my Pebble Faces. Okay, so we want to find let's say a new watch face. So I've got most downloaded. I'm in watch faces. So let's go ahead and scroll through until I find something that looks fairly cool. There's Mario. It's cool, though I don't necessarily want that on my phone. This one's kind of cool. So bold hour. It's got a big giant bold hour with the minutes in there. So you can go ahead and hit more, view more if you want to view more about the app. But if you want to just download it and you are assuming it's trustworthy, it's one of the most downloaded, everyone's using it. All you have to do is download or touch download watch face. You'll see it load up and then it switches over to the Pebble app starts downloading the bundle and then updates your Pebble. So we'll let that go, updating resources, updating app, and it's complete. So we can put that down for a second and let's see if it's on the Pebble. So that was a watch face, I'm gonna go under watch faces, and there it is, bold hour. So I can then select that, and there it is, bold hour. I've got a new watch face just like that. Okay, so you can continue to do that with multiple watch faces, but let's go look at like say an app or something. So I'm here and I'm just gonna hit back twice. That gets me there. Now I will say that the app, and this could just be my Nexus 4, but this, uh, this mypebblephase.com is a little slow. Sometimes at loading, you have to wait for the whole page to load before you can interact with some of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to apps and we'll let that load. And once it's finished, you can see it's tough to scroll because it hasn't finished there. It's finished loading. So here's a, a timer app. I already have that installed, so we'll skip that. But here's a, a calculator app. So full-blown calculator. If you want to go ahead and install that, all you would do again is touch download watch face. And you'll see it goes over to Pebble and is updating. Now, every once in a while, I've, I've touched download watch face, and it actually will pop up a box that says, do you want to do this in Chrome um, or the Pebble app? Just choose the Pebble app, and it'll go ahead and do that for you. All right, so that's complete. 
Let's go ahead and check out our Pebble again. So if we scroll down, this is not a watch face, it's gonna be an app, so it's gonna show up in this main page. And sure enough, there it is, calculator. So I can go in there, and here is a fully working calculator. Let's go one times eight. Actually, we, we know what that is, right? We don't need to uh, actually complete that. Yeah, let's do it anyway. So anyways, that's how, that's how the calculator works. Of course, I did the most generic math problem on earth. So that's how you install apps, watch faces, any of that right from your device. Now again, you could probably do this through a computer somehow, you could transfer a file or something like that. The easiest way is just to download things straight from here. It populates through the Pebble app and then installs. So check out mypebblefaces.com. We're also gonna have more. We're maybe gonna try to find some of our favorite Pebble watch faces and apps and things like that. Uh, keep in mind though that you can't just flood your uh, Pebble with you know 15 to 20 apps. There is a limit. It doesn't have a lot of storage on it, so you wanna be selective. Find a couple of watch faces that you like. Find an app or two that you're gonna use all the time and sort of keep it at that. It'll, it'll notify you if you're, uh, if you're full. And then if you are full, you can go ahead and go into the, uh, the actual Pebble app and under watch apps, this is where you'll see all of your apps listed and you can just start deleting stuff. So I don't necessarily want the calculator so I can just delete it. Now, the, now there's some space on there. So uh, anyways, this has just been a quick tutorial on how to install third-party apps, games, watch faces, all that on the Pebble. We're Droid Life. Peace.